Alrighty, chat. Thanks for sticking around. Appreciate that. Let's take a second to say thank you again for the hype train. Uh, before I left there for the break, I do appreciate that as always, guys. Thank you all so much for the support. And uh, for those of you that are here, just hanging out, I appreciate the support of your time. Uh, time is the most valuable thing that we have. And uh, I appreciate your all's time very much. Thank you, chat, for that. Uh, Black Hat, um, welcome in the game. And uh, the man and Bert, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All of it, uh, Black Hat. You going to cut trees down? You, you're more than welcome to. Um, I don't know so much up there, but definitely, like, the east side... And the, this whole like west south all that and, and then over here too <laughs> those trees are probably fine we're not going to pick up a ton of field there but we could actually plow 36 into this too couldn't we we could uh okay that's not bad not bad Thirty-eight thousand. We could buy that, like literally, right now. Yeah, if you want to cut trees down, black, I go right ahead, guys. I'm checking radar. It looks awful outside. <laughs> it looks like it could drop drop a storm any second. Gonna be getting some rain soon, but it doesn't look anything and uh, nothing bad, you know. Just some some storm or just some rain, honestly. That low pressure system is across southern Missouri right now, and it's just. A big old spinning, almost like a hurricane down there. <laughs> it's a big old spinning low, low pressure system. Well, it looks like we're about to get hit with one of the things. Not a big deal. Like the, the clouds look awful out there. Uh, but that is a okay as far as I'm concerned. They can look bad. It is not really a big deal. So they will be fine. At least I hope. Ah, we'll be good. What? A grave of the electric line? Zero turn? That thing looks slick. All right, get off Instagram, John. Jeez. Get off Instagram. It's down. I put it down. I put it down, chat. All right, they're past you now. I got you, Bert. I got you, Bert. Yes, Sean. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. All right, we're going to grab this plow once we get to the end of the pass here. We'll start doing all the cleanup work that Buddy can't do, and then we'll run it on GPS. We got Black Cat in here cutting trees, so hey, let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm not going to cut trees anymore, but Black Cat is, which is good. I need to get them all cut, so. And then try to get the stumps black head. If you can't, not a big deal. Uh, I will be adding the lumberjack mod uh, eventually. I just kind of forgot about it last night when I was monkeying around with mods. So we'll get it in here eventually, though. Don't you worry. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I just forgot. So we'll worry about stumps and we'll worry about making fields bigger later when we have. When we have that mod, you know. Just okay. Nah, you're good. That's all we can ask for, right, Black Hat? Do your best, right? That's all we can ask for. So, no worries, man. No worries. The chat, I went out and turned my air down. Because <laughs> it's only in the 60s outside right now. It's like 68 or 69 degrees here. So the air's like, ha, you don't need to run. But I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I actually turned it down one. Dang it, I said 69, didn't I? Hi, Ghost. How's it going? 92 for you right now? Dang. Dang. Welcome in, Ghost. What's up? I did say it, though, didn't I? Dang it. By the way, uh, the situation from Rust has been taken care of. We're not really talking about it on stream exactly what it was. 
uh, ghost, but it has been taken care of, so. All good. It has definitely been addressed. And I did find the, I did find it too. And yeah, you weren't wrong. <laughs> you weren't wrong. But it, it has been taken care of, so. Yeah. It was a funny but awkward situation, not gonna lie. One of those that made me laugh, but like, in an awkward kind of way. So yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. All right, let's do this spot up here. That's it. Let's go. All right. Yeah, I definitely found it. I took a screenshot of it, Ghost. <laughs> I took a screenshot of it. I didn't just find it. <laughs> yep. I did have, like, you know... So I could, I, I had to explain the situation to Carson last night too. I mean, I didn't have to, but I did. I had to have proof, you know. It wasn't. No, it wasn't. Not at all. <laughs> oh, this is such a weird conversation. Because literally, Ghost Knight. Well, Trent knows what we're talking about. Trent knows what we're talking about. But yeah, not a lot of people know, and that's okay. And that's the way it's gonna stay. We're not gonna about it too much so how's the weather <laughs> oh gosh so oh actually i lied by the way it's 68 outside i lied it's 68 yeah i know the rain it's just so much rain it's 59 in kansas city according to my thing 59 and over there so, yeah it's about to start raining here like any minute just for the record. About to start raining here. Oh so yeah. All good. Bert, how do you... Bert, how do you know that? How do you know that, Bert? You now want to know. It's not something I can talk about on stream chat, okay? <laughs> it's not, it's not something I can talk about, so. Yeah. You watch, okay. Uh, thanks for the follow, appreciate you. Welcome on in, how's it going? Use you guys now? No, we don't need any more rain right now. I have this really bad feeling that this summer is going to turn really, really dry, you know? Like, I just kind of fear that, like, we've had a wet spring. I'm kind of guessing we're going to have a dry summer and a wet fall. That's what I'm thinking. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Yep. Usually, I mean, usually you have, like, a season where it's either wet or dry, and then it kind of switches, and then kind of switches, and kind of, you know? But. Yeah, I hope it's not super dry this summer. I want to cut grass all year. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yep, yep. You think dry all the way, Bert? I don't know. I don't know. Cause it'll be like insult to injury if it's if it's like really wet this fall like you know you're gonna have save say, say if it is a dry summer then you're gonna have like a terrible crop for the farmers because there's not enough you know moisture to grow a good good crop and then if it's like wet in the fall then you can't get the crop out it's, it's just the whole thing so i don't know hopefully it's not bad just you know give us like a couple inches of rain a week all summer i'd be cool with that you know let it rain like every monday all summer how about that just every Monday it rains like a couple inches. 
three inches every Monday. I'd be cool with that. Because then I get to cut grass every week, and I'm cool with that, too. I'm thinking about offering my one neighbor chat to cut their grass, like, for free. Remember we had that, that neighbor pass away earlier this year? Um, they haven't cut their grass at all this year, because he always cut it. At night, let it rain. <laughs> there you go. Rain every Monday from 10 to 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> or something, I don't know. Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in as well. How's it going? Plow left. Okay, we're talking about rain, my guy. But anyway, this, this house, they haven't cut their grass all year. And I'm thinking about talking to Casey, my buddy, and being like, hey, you should, like, gotta go with me on this one and like i'll cut and donate like the fuel and like he should trim you know because i don't want to trim let's be real no not at all bert across the street from that house my guy across the street <laughs> yeah, i'm sure i'm sure left yeah right yeah yeah, that's true. <laughs> true, that's actually that yeah, probably not enough. But you know what I mean? It'd be cool if we could like schedule our rainfall like every 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 week, you know. But anyway, but no. So the the grass at this house is getting a little out of hand, you know. Which I don't. They have it. She had like. There's a son. He's probably like my age or, or better, probably older. I don't know what, what he's doing. Why isn't he, like, done it? I'm not sure. But I was thinking about going over there and be like, hey, I've never really talked to these people, but hi. I cut your ass. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Be the neighborly thing to do, right? I don't know. Just do some flat seating. Right, Gooser? Right? That's crazy, by the way. This stuff's crazy. But kind of cool all at the same time. Kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Well, true left. True. Very true. Okay, it rains twice a week. Is that better? <laughs> Is that better? It rains twice, three times a week. Final offer. Gosh. Can't make anybody happy around here. Yes. Yes, it is. It's kind of crazy, though, that, like, that's a thing. Throwing it out there. Black Cat, you got all the trees cut down yet? That's a joke, chat, because there's so many. There's so many. I cut down that whole area that's open back there earlier, but... There's so many trees, it's crazy. So many. That's okay. That is okay. So chat, I said it earlier, I'll say it again. No stream for me tonight. Uh, I was gonna stream tonight, but I'm kind of running out of things to do in Rust, in a way. Uh, tomorrow night in Rust, we're gonna be doing some of the, uh, like, the things, like maybe go take down a tank, or maybe an oil rig, or maybe underwater scientist thingy, or whatever. Just go, go, go run around the server and cause trouble, you know? But tonight, I need to, like, manufacture weapons. So, uh, that's all I'm going to be doing in the rest of this evening is manufacturing ammo, basically. So, that's not really streamable, in my opinion. So, no rest stream for me tonight. But there will be tomorrow at 6. Uh, just so everybody's aware. <laughs> Sorry, Bert. Black Hat, I was joking. I hope you, you know that. He knows that. He knows it, Bert. Hope. Hope. Oh yeah, so that's that's my plans for this evening. So no no stream for me tonight. Uh, so yeah. Cause literally it's just gonna be me standing in my house and rust watching ammunition manufacture. That's kinda boring. But tomorrow we're gonna go cause a cause a ruckus on the server. At least that's my plan. Anybody's welcome to, 
that's in the servers welcome to join and whatever I end up getting into I don't know yet exactly what I'm gonna do but cause trouble for scientists that's what I'm gonna do so yeah yell emotionally support us fighting the APC why is that left are you not here tomorrow are you not here <laughs> let's do it let's do it should be fun should be fun I don't know if I'll have a rocket launcher to be able to take down the tanks but maybe go buy one I gotta unlock a bunch of stuff I was gonna wait and unlock my tech tree on stream but yeah I'm gonna work on that tonight I might have like 15,000 scrap right now so yeah. <laughs> to be here and just be chaos. It is going to be chaos, yeah. Yes, it will be. Carson did up the stacks. Bird, yes. Yes, he did. You have a rocket launcher, but no ammo. Yeah, I need to get all that unlocked tonight so I can manufacturer I've got I don't even know how many pipes I've been saving them I have a lot but you can buy those too buy those if Andy can't I'm hoping I didn't I didn't load rust this morning but I'm hoping tonight when I go in like all my metal frags cooked I had like 700,000 metal frags or metal ore which I think I'm not sure if it's a one-to-one -one or not to be honest but yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do there, left. Bet you do, buddy. Ooh. You take notes to try to help. Thanks, Bert. Oh, you said that in a private whisper, and then I... <laughs> Sorry, Bert. Thanks, Bert, for helping. <laughs> Let me just, like, air all of our... The, uh, wait, I can't do that. After that one you sent me earlier? Mm -mm. I can't say that out loud. Mm -mm, no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Not as bad as Farmer Nick's DMs, you know? You know what? I'm going to send Farmer Nick that DM later. I want to hear his reaction. Maybe he'll blush. Or, like, he'll laugh at it. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. <laughs> oh, man. Man, oh, man. That one would get you banned, Bert. Yeah, if somebody were to actually say that in chat, yeah, they'd be banned. I don't really care who it is, either. Like, that was, that was inappropriate, but it was funny. Inappropriate, but funny. Just saying. Kind of like the situation in Rust last night. It was inappropriate, but it was kind of funny. But I'm glad we got it taken care of. That's all I have to say. <laughs> but yeah. It was great. You restarted my furnaces. Thank you, left. Had they run out of wood? Is that what it was? Or were they full? I think they were full, actually. I was hoping... I was actually going to load rest, like, last night before I went to bed. And then I kind of just went to bed instead of playing rest till like, 3 o'clock in the morning again. And then I was going to load up this morning, and... Well, then I didn't, so... Uh... Oh, okay. So that probably happened then. It's supposed to be uh, 400,000 now. I'm guessing that happened probably before Carson changed it. Okay. Thank you, Left. I appreciate it, man. I do appreciate it. I might be setting up like 40 small furnaces tonight to make charcoal, too. We'll see. <laughs> Just, I have like two chainsaws. I should go. I should totally do that. Yeah, I do that today too. 
Because I need charcoal in the worst way. I mean, I have more than I had before, but I'm... Yeah. This is a special modified fence. Uh, 1050. Actually, it's... Um, it has like 1,200 horsepower. It's a specially modified FET tractor that has all the horsepower, and it's awesome. And if you're on PC and you want this tractor, I think it's available. I think this one's available on the Pop. No, this one is available. It has like lots of downloads uh, on the Papa Smurf website. Link's in the chat right there. Judge, welcome back. That's right. This one had over 300 downloads last I heard. I'm sure it has more now. The plugger told me that one day it had over 300. I was shocked by that. That's a lot of downloads for a tractor, I feel like. So it's pretty awesome. It pulls the big Borgo Cedar like a dream. Uh, we will see that later. We will see that later today. Holy cow, left. That's awesome. Yeah, we will see that a bit later today. I will be um, planting beans when I get done uh, plowing. And the only reason for beans is I want to see the fix uh, for precision. It used to penalize us for harvesting beans, but apparently it no longer does so. So we will, uh, we want to, I want to see, I want to see that. And then honestly, I could see planting oilseed radish after the beans because I want to try those out too with precision. Because again, uh, they were kind of broken before, but apparently they're fixed now. Uh, so I could see doing beans, oilseed, radish, and then um, something next year. Maybe like sorghum. I do sorghum. Yeah, maybe sorghum's the ticket. Not sure. But something, for sure. And plant it right into the oilseed radish is what I'm thinking. So be kind of cool. And I don't really grow a ton of sorghum, so... You say forget it, go get a big plow and get it done. But Bert, my my immersion. <laughs> my immersion, Bert. My immersion. I mean, that would get it done, yes. <laughs> Bert's like, I need enhanced realism now. Please. Enhanced realism, please. Yeah. What is what? It doesn't like lines. That just happened the other day, too. There we go. For some reason, I moved lines and it doesn't... It doesn't take. It's like, nah, bro, we're good. We're not gonna go do that. Hmm. We should be good now. We should be good to go. The realism. I mean, it's nice to have once in a while, right? I mean, Bert does have a point. We are going to be here for a while. Bert, you win. You really, really tried hard to convince me, didn't you? That was that took a lot to convince me, didn't it, chat? That took a lot. Not at all. Fair play, bike. I can't. Fair play. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all, sir. Because, yeah, if we do this and then we seed. That means we'll be harvesting on Saturday. My goodness. I can tell you're eating whole trees, Black Cat. Just just so you know, I can uh I can tell. <laughs> More lights, good afternoon. How are you doing today? Welcome back. Hope you had a good Thursday. Hope anyway. I do hope so. All right. 
I'll unhook this in here. And yes, it takes a minute. Go. Takes a minute. I wonder if all that silage is emptied yet. So yeah, they do. Like, uh, there's nothing you can do about it, honestly. Well, uh, farming's going. Farming's going well. Is that all of it? Is that empty finally? Is that just giving us the false number too, just like the corn? I bet it is. Probably, right? Got some weird stuff going on in the map though, I will tell you that. It's a 1.5 update personally, but I don't know. Uh, Polar Bear, welcome in. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing, no complaints here, man. No complaints. Try not to complain too much, you know? Try not to. I'm wearing a new pair of socks today, so like my life is good, okay? It's the little things, chat. It's the little things. You know? It's the little things in life. All right. I did find the trailer. Yeah, the trailer that's really big. Uh huh. Sure did. It's afternoon here. Yeah, see, that's what it's doing. I don't know why it, it, that it shouldn't show up in here. I'm not storing it in the in, in the blue silos over there. I'm storing it in this thing over here. That should not show up in there. You know what I'm saying? Like it, sh it just shouldn't be. It shouldn't be in here. I don't understand why it wasn't doing this this like before the update. <laughs> Polar Bear, you're like top left, correct? Right? I think you're top left. I was, I, yeah, okay. I flew over your place yesterday, I think I was. I was up exploring that area of the map just for fun. Okay. Yeah, that's that is quite a horse ride. Yes, I died at the dome last night and had to ride my horse from my house bottom right to the dome. That took a minute. Yeah, that took a minute last night. Not gonna lie, but that's okay. How about that server like kicking everybody out last night? Who was in for that? I know I was. That was fun. Not at all. Because I was riding my horse back to. Um, I was riding my horse back to my back to to dome to collect my stuff, and the server like kicked everybody out. I don't know what was going on there. I was Tom and I were not happy because Tom Tom was with me and we both uh, we both kind of bit the dust a little bit. So we're just gonna buy this thing. Let's be real. We're gonna buy it. Um, I told Carson to make it a thousand bigger than it is now. Just, just why not? You know, but I don't know what he's actually gonna do. Uh, Black Cat, to be honest with you, I do not know. At least five hundred would be fine. Thousand, whatever, you know. Thousand would be good. Yeah. Mr. Burt, do you use Discord at all? Twenty. You want us to put it to twenty? No way. That'd be huge. We're only at three or four. No? Okay. Alright. All good, sir. All good. There wasn't any low grade, but polar bear, there was sulfur, right? I'm assuming there was sulfur, right? I hope. There better have been.
Oh, that's... I got you. Okay. I got you. Okay. That's fine. So, Polar Bear, I was keeping it running, like, with the 2000 all the time. I've got more sulfur than I can shake a stick at. So, I basically told the boys, like, down in the neighborhood, I'm like, I'm not going to run the thing anymore. Um, so, if people need sulfur, that's fine. Go get it. But don't expect it to always be running. Does that make sense? Because I'm not going to keep it. Not going to keep it running, you know? So, yeah. Bert, have a good rest of your day, buddy. We will catch you uh, tomorrow. Have a good one, sir. Have a good one. All right. Yeah, there's plenty of plenty of sulfur. I mean, I'm assuming you got quite a bit off of that, right? Yep. Have a good one, Bert. Thanks for hanging out, sir. Thanks for making me laugh earlier, too, buddy. Always appreciate that, dude. Sir. Just didn't know. Okay, yeah. No, definitely polar bear. Yeah, so whatever you took out, I'm assuming there was a fair bit, right? That would have been basically 2,000 fuel worth. If that makes sense. So, like, if you let that 2,000 fuel burn through, that's what should be in there again. So, yeah. And actually, I've stopped running. I was keeping the high-quality metal one running, too. Sulfur and stone. And since I've quit doing those three and I'm just doing the fuel ones now, I have more fuel than I can shake a stick at. It's great. Which is good for all the helicopter flying I do. Kind of need it. So, yeah, we're good. Uh, John Deere Jacob, honestly, we don't actually have a ton of equipment on this map. We really don't have a lot. I think we only have, well, hang on. Black Cat's in one tractor. Black Cat's in a tractor. I'm in one. We have two combines. We have this little case tractor. I'm not sure why, but it's so cool. Just saying, you can't tell me this thing's not cool, chat, you know? And the umbrella just sells it, right? The umbrella sells it. I, I don't care. It's not a useful tractor for anything, but... Maybe it'll run an AGI auger. I don't know. But, like, you can't tell me that's not cool, you know? A cool old tractor. Um, we have a sprayer that we use for contracts, and then we have two semis and uh, a, a stagger with another plow. Um, little tractor. <laughs> That's it. We don't we don't have a ton of equipment. I, I we'll get to the point where we'll have more. Uh, but I do understand what you're saying about yeah your game crashing with a lot of equipment. I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, everybody, you want this tractor? You can find it on Papa Smurf's website, exclamation point Smurf in the chat. Or wait, 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 wait. You're talking about the case. The case for, came from Matt. Well, everybody, if you DM me on Discord, I can get it for you. Uh, after stream. But not, like, during stream. Yeah, this tractor that I'm driving now came from Plugger, Papa Smurf's website. The case tractor came from Matt. I have no idea where he got it from, but I can... I can Send it to you, Polar Bear, if you DM me on Discord. Yeah. <laughs> Person, why would you be scared? Why would you be scared? There's nothing to be scared about, my guy. Okay, you have this one. Yeah, if you want the case, if you want the case, like I said, just DM me. 2,200 hours. Pepper, GG's. Thanks for the time, buddy. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Holy cow. Oh, hey, this thing I forgot was really fast, Jet. We'll keep it, we'll keep it under 20. How about that? <laughs> we'll keep it under 20, all right? But, yeah. Uh, Keep it deeper under 20. Okay. We got this. <laughs> I forgot it'll go like, you know, a 
fast will it go? 30? 30? Okay. Can you imagine, like, actually going 30 miles an hour or something like this? Nope. No, thank you. I feel like it would just be broken down, like, all the time. You would have to have a mobile welder at all times with you. Like, that is something you would have to have, probably. That would be crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right. Yes, this tractor is a beast. This thing's awesome. Way. Uh, because Bert said I should, and and so I did, and, and I'll be able to get this field done, like you know, in a timely fashion. Plus, I have this other field to clean up. Plus, I have this field to do. And I would like to get planted uh, today before we're out of here. So if I if I use a, a bigger plow, then I can get done. But I'm not going 30. I'm keeping it under 20, okay? For the most part. But it will go 30 all day long. Which is kind of... Kind of terrifying. If you ask me. That scared me. Dawson, thanks for the bits. You just reminded me I need to spray some bug spray around my house. Thank you. We get crickets in if we don't, you know. Need to need to do that. I've been hearing the crickets recently, so. What did I hit? Somehow I hit the fold up button. Not sure how, but thanks for the bits. I do need to spray some sp spray around the house. I get them out here in the garage, which, you know, it's a garage. It's to be expected, right? But it's like always late o'clock at night and there'll just be one like crawling across the floor. And I'm like, hey, um, I don't appreciate that very much. Smash. You know. Just saying. Top Gun 777. My what? A real farm. My beard is from a real farmer. Okay. Okay. Dawson is going well, man. How are you doing today? Oh, no. Polar bear. That's not good. Didn't she just buy that thing? Oh, man. Didn't she just, like, she just got on that computer, right? Like, you just got that computer not that long ago. Oh, that's terrible. That is terrible. That's sad. Top Gun Maverick comes out tomorrow. I know First Time wants to go see that. I wouldn't mind it. I think it's the power supply. Oh, no. That sucks, Polar Bear. That sucks. RIP to Team Kimmy since, well, Kimmy can't play. <laughs> Dang. Right, Pepper? <laughs> oh, you heard the pop. Oh. Uh, no, I, I, uh, Black Cat's in with me. I'm in the multiplayer server. I'm just, uh, I myself in team speak, which is fine. No big deal. Uh, Dawson, on these day streams, it's it's kind of quiet as far as like my helpers, which is totally fine. Um, I know people have lives and stuff, so not a big deal. Plus, you know, rest is a thing too, which is fine. So it's all good, my guy. It's all good. <laughs> Uh, that pop though, that, that's, it's very, very, yeah, sad, but like, oh, that sucks. Hopefully it was just the power supply and not something on the motherboard that went snap, crackle, pop, because that is a thing too. General. Okay. I got you, Polar Bear, okay. 
Kimmy sounds very prepared. Got a second PC, got a power supply already. Let's go. That's crazy. That's, uh, yeah. I've popped a power supply in my day. Good. I was playing City Skylines on, like, that was our editing computer. But it had dual, like, 480s in it or something. My buddy Casey gave them to me. He upgraded video cards out of his computer. Out of high school for, for graduation, or maybe when he went into high school, probably. His parents bought him an Alienware, like, gaming computer. And it had dual, I think, 480s. Yeah. It took three hours of the loading polar bear. No, that's not okay. Uh, this is Green Valley, Nebraska. By DJ Mari. Um, yeah, I played City Skylines for like three hours one night on that computer, and then I heard this god awful snap, and I I could just smell that. That smell of burning, you know, plastic electronics. And I was like, oh, God. So I, like, jumped up, started screaming for my brother. His first time was on his computer. Uh, this is not on console. This is a 4X map, so it will not be on console, unfortunately, for y'all. This is a PC-only map. And uh, I started unhooking the thing because I thought it was going to be on fire. Because, like, that smell was very potent in my room. And uh, so I started unhooking the thing and I like grabbed the side and like threw the side off the PC and started like feeling around, make sure stuff wasn't like hot, you know. Luckily, no, no flame, no, no heat. Just I blew up the power supply. Uh, Dr. Phil, what's up? How's it going? Welcome in. Good afternoon. And then uh, the other one was an Xbox 360. I popped the power supply on that thing once too. So oh, that was fun. You know, it happens, right? It's electronics. It breaks. It happens. Oh, yeah. Smelled the weird smell. Yeah, the, the weird smell is the sign right there alone, right? It's, hopefully, it's just the power supply because that's pretty, like, fairly cheap and easy fix. And not, you know, a motherboard. Oh, I hope it's not the motherboard. That could be bad. Hopefully she gets it uh, up and going soon and is able to jump back on. I know gaming's a, a big part. A big part, it seems like, for a lot of people, so. It would definitely be sad. Which is why, and I'm not saying this is related to Kimmy's situation, Polar Bear, but why I'm so adamant, like, if there's a thunderstorm, I'm going to unplug my computers. Like, that's all there is to it. Because I would sure hate to lose. Uh, a PC. Especially both PCs. Oh, I would cry. I legitimately think I would cry if I lost both PCs and had to, like, replace them right away. Oh. Oh, gosh. Especially with prices today and, like, availability of, of parts and stuff. Oh. That would be bad. Plus, I would have, like, be so expensive. Just saying. Yeah. I, I yeah. Even yesterday, like, we weren't home, and, like, there's a storm kind of heading this way, and I was like, hey, uh, Dad, we need to, like, you know, think about heading home. There's, like, lightning and stuff, you know? Need to think about it. He's like, yeah. I know. Yeah, right, Ghost? Right? Not to mention, think, like, say if I got my mixer and my microphone and my monitors. And oh, I'd have to ask them. I'd have to, like, go take a loan. Or, like, I'd have to borrow money from somebody. I couldn't afford to, like, just replace what I have right now. That's no way. I would have a, a very scaled-down setup. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Uh, Genesis Floods, I do have uh, good UPSs with surge protection and stuff. But, you know, if your house gets struck by lightning... Yeah, now I know they have, some of them have like, they have like a warranty or insurance or whatever you want to call it, but still. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Polar Bear. Yeah. Good luck here soon, left. I don't know what you're doing, but good luck. Good luck. Yeah, no, I couldn't, could definitely, it would, 
Yeah, it would be it would be a hard hard thing to be like, hey, so uh, you need to replace two PCs. Oh, that would be brutal. That would be brutal. But yeah, I do have a uh, good UPSs. Oh, you're poking a big bear. You taking on a tank left? What it sounds like to me. Power supply, paper clip. Well, it sounds like Kimmy took her computer in somewhere to get worked on, so. I'm sure they'll figure it out for her. Get her, um, get her up and running, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Yeah, that sucks, though. It sucks when anything like electronic breaks, let's be real, right? Like, it just sucks. But that's electronics, you know? They're, I've always said, like, they're great when they work. Yeah. Like, I kind of want that on my, like, tombstone, you know, like, electronics, they're great when they work. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, kind of funny. Kind of amusing to me. It's like, they're just uh, so frustrating when they don't work. But that's okay. It is what it is. I don't actually know what the paperclip test is myself. I'm not sure what that one is. Not sure. Tank is... Oh, you're going after the helicopter. Archie left. Left. That killed me last night, by the way. The darn thing can see me in my house. He was flying past, and I was like, oh, he can see me, because I can see him. And sure enough, he took one shot. And I was like, uh-oh. So I just opened my back door and just started running out in the middle of the pond. <laughs> I was like, I, I was, I turned into Forrest Gump, okay? <laughs> like, I was running. <laughs> like, I was out. <laughs> And, uh, well, he circled and, well, you know, he did his thing. And there was nothing I was going to do about it. So, yeah. It was pretty funny. Google. Oh. And the power supply should start. Interesting. I've never heard of that. I yeah, definitely want to Google that. If you're messing with power, you want to be uh, certain you know what you're doing before you do it, too, because it can be dangerous. That is the disclaimer of the stream. It can be dangerous, Chad. Don't mess with it. It can be a shocking experience, okay? You're welcome, chat. <laughs> you're welcome. A shocking experience, you know. Now you're good. You're good, Dennis. You're good. I appreciate it. Yeah, don't, uh, you know, be careful with electricity. It can, yeah. it can be bad. Although throwing capacitors at people is kind of fun sometimes, not going to lie. I've never actually done it, but I've been around people that have done it. <laughs> I've been around when it happens. Out of amusing. And you charge a capacitor up and throw it at somebody, like, hey, catch! Yeah. It happens. It definitely happens. All right, so this field, uh, buddy, we're gonna let him finish. We're gonna head off to the other. Uh, Head off to the other field since we're so much faster. That tractor, of course, will come back and finish that field up with uh, that one. If he doesn't get it all done himself. All right. Go, go, gadget tractor. Go check on Black Cat's progress of plow. Of, uh, I almost said plowing. He's not plowing. He's cutting trees. Let's see what he's up to over here. So earlier today, chat, this whole hillside down to that fence was trees. 
Uh, there are stumps out here still, but that's fine. We'll have to do some landscaping probably on this too. Uh, the black cat basically is cut from here over. Like right about where the tractor was or a little behind. He's cut all this since uh, he came in. So thank you, black cat, for helping out, buddy. I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. It's awesome. Very, very awesome. So, yeah, just pitter pattern. And looks like he's getting all his stumps, too. I didn't get all mine. Some of those was were because of the snow. It was snowing. And it's very hard to... Oh, hey, there's a Kimmy. Hi, Kimmy. Sorry about your computer. Very sad to hear about it. Okay. I got you, Polar Bear. Okay. Got you, got you. Tractors don't go this fast. Sure they do. You just have to believe. It's called enhanced realism. Okay. And I bet your plow doesn't work like that either, does it? <laughs> right? You want to cry? I, we were talking about it, Kimmy, just a minute ago, and like, I was, I was basically saying, like, imagine I lose like my setup, like two PCs and like everything. I, I don't know what I would do. I guess build a computer and try to get back on my feet, you know, streaming. I guess try to just do it on one. Yeah. Sure, willpower, right, Legend? What's up, man? How you doing? <sighs> yeah, that's so sad, Kimmy. I mean, it's so sad. That's very unfortunate. Well, hopefully, they get it fixed up for you uh, very soon, and yeah, you get rolling again, huh? Because, yeah. Holy cow! That's sad, though. Very sad. Hey, hey, Legend, it has been a minute, man. How you been, buddy? How you been? Their little literal pop sound, probably. When power supplies blow up, they literally pop, yeah. Become. Less than two years old, yeah. It's unfortunate, but it can definitely happen. Yeah. Must be. No. It's not, it's a fat 1050, a little souped up. Legend, I'm doing well. I like it, Rod, or Pepper's like, become a sellout, exclamation point, merch. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Pepper, for selling out for me. Well, Sean, there is that, but I would not expect or, or ask the community to, like, do that. You know what I'm saying? You know? You're lost on PC. Kimmy, I bet you are. I know I would be. <clears throat> I bet you are. Oh, you're on the four-year-old one? Okay. The one that popped. The day the computer popped. It's it's crazy, but it's true. That's literally what happens. It's it yeah. Uh, I'm I'm digging this map. I uh, I like it so far. It's big. It's big, but it's good. It's good. <laughs> That's true, Sean. That is a good question. That is a good question. Uh, I've had one go, Kimmy, in my life of, like, PC ownership. Yeah. What? Stuff you hear on the scanner, chat. I swear. <laughs> Stuff you hear on the scanner. I'm just not sure about where I live. I kind of just want to go, like, live in the woods somewhere when I hear half the stuff I hear on the scanner. 
just throwing it out there and I don't really like the woods, but you know, I really spent much time in the woods. Poison ivy is my problem, you know, and, and danger noodles. Those are my two problems with the woods. Okay. Poison ivy and danger noodles. If you can get me woods without those, I'm in. Just saying. Oh, that's how you're doing it, Black Cat. Okay. Black Cat has dev tools turned on chat, just so you know. Yep, Black Cat has, has dev tools. That's how he's getting all his stumps. Yeah. Hey, you're good, Black Cat. I, I got you. I don't have mine turned on. I need to. I'll turn them on uh, tonight, maybe. I don't remember how to do that. Also, probably just Google. What in the world are danger noodles? You don't know what a danger noodle is? Oh man, it's like my biggest fear in life and I probably shouldn't say that live on the internet, but I did. Oh, that'd be a snake. A snake is a danger noodle. Oh, any danger noodles. No, thank you. Actually, I identified this huge thing of poison ivy in, in my buddy Casey's yard. And I was like mowing like a couple inches from it. I was like, hmm. You need to take care of that. Because when I get poison ivy, I have to live on Benadryl. That's the only way I live is Benadryl. So, and then I just sleep. Only a good snake is a dead snake. I could not agree more. I do not like snakes. Judge, you got a lot of those down south here. Yeah, no, thank you. No, thank you. I'm just not, just not a fan. Not a fan. That's like one of, one of the things for me in my life that I just am not a fan of. Uh, the other ones would be, uh, um, yeah, danger noodles. <laughs> That's like a hard pass for me. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna have a few snakes and rats and mice. There's other ways to get rid of rats and mice. Didn't want none that flew off the map. Judge, absolutely not. If there's danger noodles, I'm good. Thank you. You don't want to see this grown man scream like that, okay? You don't want to see that. All right? I don't scream. I just take care of it. There was this one time, one day at the farm chat. Yeah, Vigorous Bull has a danger noodle emote. Thank you, uh, uh, Vigorous Bull. Appreciate it. There was this one day at the farm chat where Dad and I got seven. Now, we've never had a day like that ever before, or before that, or since then, or anything, but... It was bad. That's how you feel about spiders. <laughs> yeah. We had a spider one time at the farm. It was on the, like the, like the shed door or something. I can't remember. I have a picture of it. The thing was like the size of my hand. And I thought it was cool. I let it go. I didn't like kill it or anything. I was just like, dude, you're cool. And like took a picture of it. I don't see those very often either. Be the fastest John would ever move. Yes. God, you're right. You're right. <laughs> it doesn't matter what kind of noodle it is. It's a danger noodle and they're all evil, okay? It doesn't matter if it's just a little garden variety danger noodle. It's still a danger noodle. All right? <laughs> Don't make fun of me for having, like, a fear, okay? I do. Glitter. Glitter is the other one. Glitter. Yeah. Glitter, I know, is an irrational fear, but it's still a fear of mine. Okay? Danger noodles and glitter, okay? I'm out. You had to just... Oh, dang. Dang, Legend. That's crazy. Always pull bales. Oh, judge. No, thank you. Nope. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not a not a big glitter guy. It's everywhere, you know. But that's that's all that's all I have to say about it. Okay, black cat's cutting trees down. Remember that. That's why we're lagging, which is fine. Right? It does get everywhere. It really, really does. Uh, Dawson, I don't have a P.O. box, and I do not plan on getting one. Uh, so, yeah, good luck. Good luck, bro. Not interested in a P.O. box. Just saying. Devil dust. Devil dust. Yep. Somebody, who was it recently? There was like, like a greenie, like a card, you know, like a Christmas card, or whatever. It's like cards in general. First off, I think they're huge, like scams and waste of money. Personally, cards, waste of money. If I want to tell somebody Merry Christmas, I'm going to go tell them Merry Christmas. Or if I want to tell somebody that like, you know, I love them, I'm just going to go tell them, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, why do they always have glitter? Why? Especially like Christmas ones. Why? Why are they covered in glitter? I, it's things in life I don't understand, you know? But yeah. Skeeter eaters. Talking about bats? What's a skeeter eater? Bats will eat mosquitoes, right? I don't I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, glitter, just horrible. Horrible. Oh, mosquitoes are awful. Mosquitoes are awful. I actually saw an ad for this new, uh, this new, I don't mind, we don't, I'm, I've seen like one bat ever in my neighborhood. It was like a young one. Skeeter hawks, oh boy. Um, Saw this new ad for an off bug spray that like allegedly doesn't smell and it's not greasy and I was like hmm. Might have to try it. You just picked up this mod, how is it? It's great. Talk about the tractor, the cedar, the map, which one? You have owls. Nice. Cedar. Cedar. So this is a modified one. This is not the one that's in the mod hub. So, horse flies, what about them? You swat them. I don't know. Um, this is a modified cedar that uh, has, like, a lot more capacity. Uh, holds 180,000 total, 100 seed and 80,000 fertilizer. So, this is the second or third planting without filling it up, basically. Uh, which is pretty awesome, if you ask me. Oh. Um, yeah, pretty great. I was like, bug sprays, that, that sounds interesting. No no grease, no smell. Oh, I'm cool with it. I use those off clip-ons. Y'all ever seen the off clip-ons? I like those. I like those. It is convenient, yeah. Very convenient. Especially because to fill this cedar up, I actually have to go to bulk supply but you can't take the cedar in there you have to use a semi it's kind of a nightmare to fill it up but you know it goes forever goes forever well that guy actually finished down there and like got it all look at him kind of forgot about him kind of forgot about him what So I would trust uh, Pop Smurfs website, I would say, is one that I would trust. Uh, most of the mods that I have are sent to me by people. Uh, either my buddy Matt, my buddy Trent, Plugger. Um, pretty much all the mods are sent by one of those three. So I don't actually go and download a lot of mods. Uh, Mod Hub, I will do some. Uh, but beyond that, I don't really go to any of the websites. Um, for a beginner, 
Honestly, I would say don't get any mods. Play the base game, learn the base game, figure out that you really, really, really wish that GPS was base game, and then eventually you get GPS mod. It's on the mod hub for PC only. Uh, but honestly, if you're starting out, I wouldn't recommend any mods. Play the base game, learn the base game. That's what I would recommend. You know, that's uh, our first entire map that we played. We basically didn't have any mods. We did have GPS, but beyond that, we didn't really run like any equipment mods or anything. Now that when I'm on my third map on, on 22, yeah, we're running some mods now, but I would recommend just playing the base game. And, you know, there's plenty of base game equipment uh, to where you almost don't, uh, you almost don't need mods, you know? Like you can you can do everything in the game with base game equipment. You almost don't need anything. Hey Shane, what's up, buddy? Thanks for the one bit. How you doing? Did you get your Jeep out? Hope so. I mean, you probably didn't want to talk about it, and here I am bringing it up. Sorry. Hi Shane. Hope you're having a better day today than you were yesterday. How about that? Uh, and Pepper, thanks for the one bit. Shane, you're a trendsetter. Shane's a trendsetter with the one bit. Goodness me. Goodness me. <laughs> Pepper, thanks for the one. Water's on the oil. Oh, no. Unless you want a seed tender. Well, seed tender would be nice, but yeah. Yeah. Genesis floods next to the one bit as well. Hey, you know, chat, it really helps if your cedar's in the uh, lowered position, you know? You know what I'm saying, chat? That really, really helps. Uh, hi, dog. What's up, dog? I think of Randy Jackson whenever I hear that. Like straight out of uh, American Idol. That's a no for me, dog. You know? <laughs> I don't know why, but that's what I think of every single time. What's up, dog? How's it going? Welcome in. But I think every single time. Every, every single time. So vigorous bull, do you just keep that piece of a tree on your farm sim map just to like remind you of like where this game was at when it launched, like with the Norwegian, as Matt calls them, the Norwegian trees? Is that what you do? Because if so, that's kind of funny. It's kind of amusing. I'm not gonna lie. All right, looks like it's raining pretty good out there, chat. Looks like it's raining pretty good. Yes. That's cool. Uh, Vincent, um, first time chatter. How can you have that opinion of me already? You don't even follow me. You've never talked in my stream before. You can't just come in here and drop that emotional on me, you know? Gotta get to know you first before you can say that. Come on. Thank you, I think. No, that's not the appropriate response. When you tell somebody you love them and they say thank you, that's not a good response. Just so you know. Not a good one. For a second thought. What? Shane, no. Shane, Shane, no. Shane, no. It's not okay, Shane. Shane, Shane no. Oh, I thought we were in TeamSpeak. Yeah, because some of the boys like to say they love each other in TeamSpeak. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Shane, Shane always say love you when somebody leaves. Yeah, that's right. Forgot it. Never. Actually, BMW lady did not call me on the cell phone. I called her. She texted me and I called her. But yeah. 
And Ew. And it didn't. Uh. I don't personally like CNN contracts because I feel like you don't make any money on them. The plot thickens. No, the plot does not thicken. No. Legend, there is no plot to thicken, okay? No. No. Uh, KS Farms, what's going on, man? How you doing? Welcome in. <sighs> Am I excited about the Kubota DLC? Uh, no. But I will have it on the map, and I will check it out. Uh, but I'm not really... You've not wanted a Baja Blast? Dawson Gaming that I do. X100 into the thick of it. No! Into the thick of it. There's nothing to be in the thick of it about. Wow, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Uh, Dawson, thanks for the 100 bits. Uh, but no, I'm not really excited for the Kubota DLC. I will check it out. Uh, I will go into it with an open mind and Hopefully I like something that's in there, yeah. Hopefully. But I'm not really, like, excited about it, to be honest. But that's okay. It's all good. It's just the way my beard is, Vincent. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. Um... What's another one that like when you tell somebody you love them and they just say, um, what is it? What's like a, what's like a bad response? Uh, good game. I don't know. Wish it would quit raining. She's doing okay. <laughs> oh, enjoy your dinner. Is that... <laughs> Uh, I got a phone call. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at the time. <sighs> uh, probably Black Cat, yes. Will the third DLC unannounced also be a letdown? Vigor Spool's curious. Magic Ball, please tell us. It has been determined so. F's in the chat for the third DLC. <laughs> we get some F's in the chat. Pepper, that would be a bad one too, yes. When they say... Well, saying somebody's hot, is that a polite way to hit on somebody? Is that an appropriate way to hit on somebody? I don't know. I don't think it is. Oh. <laughs> oh, about that season pass, right? Uh, Pepper, I didn't see your DM though. That was that was funny. Yes, thank you. Yeah, that would not be a good a good response to. Yeah. Yeah. There's still a list on the prices for the highs and lows. Uh. I, I'm sure there is somewhere out there on the internet. I don't have a current list though. Uh, case. Yeah. Not that bad if we were on the normal map. True. True. Pepper, thanks for that DM because that was, that would be a good way to, yeah. Uh, we'll catch you later, buddy. Have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. As always. We appreciate it. Yeah, that would be a, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. Or it could be, like, in what way? Because, you know, there's multiple ways to, like, love somebody, right? Just say it. Multiple ways. That'd be a good response, too. What, in what way? Kind of funny. <laughs>
Oh, goodness me. So, how about the weather? Talk about something less awkward. It's, it's wrapping up rain. It's dark and gloomy out there. My aunt was complaining this morning. She's like, oh, we're really in for some storms. And I was like, we are? I thought it was just going to be a little rain. And she's like, oh, they said on the on the news. And I was like, oh, wait, like when? Like this afternoon or this evening? She's like, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I was, I was like, thanks, aunt. <laughs> Appreciate you. She's funny. She's hilarious sometimes. She's been working on it every year for like my entire life. She makes like these calendars for everybody. And well, she's working on 2023 right now. So how about that comeback last night? How about them blues, baby? That was, that was, I screamed. I literally sat here at the computer hanging out in TeamSpeak with a couple of guys and I screamed. I did. Legend. <laughs> Human and rain. Right? We had a couple days where it was like beautiful weather here. Yeah. Man, Alex Gaming. Hello, stranger. Hi. How are ya? I feel like it's been a minute, man. Oh, it's been, it's been, a, it's been a minute. You haven't been here this year. <laughs> How's it going? Welcome back. Welcome back. I'd love that I could just like creep on you guys and pull your chat logs, you know? <laughs> love you some blues hockey, but you missed the game last night. It was a thriller. It was, it was one of those games where it's like, okay, you lost hope like 10 different times, you know? I know I did. I know I did, but yeah. Been a while. Oh, I'll get. We were last year in December of 21. <laughs> and you, you said hi via an emote that I don't think we have anymore, do we? We might still have that one. I don't remember. No, we don't have that emote anymore. Yeah. Been a while. I love that I can pull chat logs though. Like, if I'm suspicious about a person, which has happened a lot recently, which is happening less, which is good. Two thumbs up for me. Uh, I can just pull pull chat logs really fast. I love it. Great feature on Twitch. Oh, yeah. If you didn't see any of last night's game, it was it was a thriller. It really was. I mean, they had a shot to put us away with an empty net, and Buddy didn't take a shot because he wanted to get to the red line. But, like, take the icing in that situation. I At least, I feel like that would have been the right thing to do because he could have potentially put him up by two right at the end of the game. You know? Uh, judge, that is very difficult, honestly. My beard looks really fluffy. Thank you. I've been adding uh, marshmallow fluff to it every night, and it has helped. Uh, Judge, I would have to scroll up through 900. Of course it is, Judge. Uh, Judge, I would have to scroll up through 969 uh, chats to see what your first one was. It takes forever to scroll up uh, that far, so I'm not going to do that right now, just so you know. But yeah. Radar doesn't look nice. Trent, you want a refund? What? Really? <laughs> Marshmallows in the coffee. I'm joking. I don't put marshmallow fluff in my beard. That would be very sticky. I wouldn't have a beard left. A beard left. Oh, dang old Trent. It don't look that bad over there, does it? Maybe it, oh yeah, it kind of does actually for you. Never mind, Trent. Never mind. Never, never mind, Trent. Yeah, there would be no beard left though. The joke. Obviously, I put Miracle Grow in my beard, okay? Or I'm just lazy and I don't ever shave. That's 
probably what it really is. Or, see, the way I like to look at it, chat, think about this for a minute. 